Hello everyone! We are now in the introduction to circles. Definition Let C be a given point. The set of all points P having the same distance from C is called a circle. The point C is called the center of the circle and the common distance its radius. As you can see, we have a sample circle here with the center C and the point of a circle called P. Getting the radius of the circle will lead us to the standard equation of the circle using the distance formula. The distance formula is equals to the square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to 2 plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to 2. Now all point just like p is an ordered pair x, y and our center is obviously in 0, 0. Now let this be our second ordered pair so it's x sub 2, y sub 2 and this one be our first ordered pair so x sub 1, y sub 1. So to get the distance of line segment CP, we'll simply substitute the values here. So it's the square root of x sub 2 is x minus x sub 1 is 0, quantity is squared, plus y sub 2 is y minus y sub 1 is 0, quantity raised to 2. Now remember that line segment CP is our radius. So... I will continue this portion here so it will be x squared plus y squared. Now we want to get rid of the square root so we will square both sides here. And we'll have our squared is equals to x squared plus y squared. We just got the standard equation of the circle. It's x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Again, the standard equation when the center is in the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, what is the standard equation when the center is not in the origin? Just like our illustration here, the center is not in the origin. P is any point x, y, and the center here is let's have any point like h, k. Now we will pattern the new equation to the previous one. So instead of x squared, we'll make it x minus h, and instead of y squared, we'll make it y minus k. And then we'll simply have the exponent 2 still equal to r squared the corresponding x of our center is h while the corresponding y of our center is k therefore we will always pair x with h and y with k that is all for today thank you and see you on our next video lesson